Reese, it's, um, it's recently been announced that you'll be uh, leaving Saracens to, to Cardiff Blues at the end of the season. Um, the team you started out with uh, when, you, when you first started playing rugby, um, how have you enjoyed this, the seven years you've had at Saracens? It's been an amazing seven years. Um, it was a great time at Booth. Uh, we've got so many memories and so many special things have happened to Sabina. Um, my kids have been born here. Um, it's been amazing trips, we had amazing stuff, we won titles and stuff with Saracens. It gave me an opportunity when I was 21 and I got the chance to come here and come and live in a big city and never look back ever since, it's been great. Within that seven years, um, like you said, um, you've been called up to the Welsh national team, um, y your kids were born here. Um, I mean, when you did get announced for the, for the Welsh national team for the first time, how did that make you feel? Yeah, it was just a great honour to play for Wales and stuff, it's amazing. Um, and. And it'd be just great to be involved in the setup and stuff. But say so this is the memories you get from your from playing weekend with your friends. So it's pretty much that's the things that you remember most. So moving to Cardiff um, is is fighting for a place in that, in that world set up a uh, a key ambition of yours still? Yeah, definitely. I'm only 29 at the moment, so I'm not that old yet. But that's one of the reasons to go home is to try and push for that before I get too old and give it one last shot. And obviously being back home in playing in Wales is in the shot window. Everything gives you a better opportunity. Was it a tough decision to um, to leave this place after seven years? Yeah, it's a massive decision. So we love being around here. We love living in Hertfordshire. It's an amazing area to live. Um, the kids are all settled in school here and stuff. We've had an amazing time and my family's grown older now and we thought we'd just get them settled back home in Wales now, ready for the next chapter of our lives. You've had um, a, a very uh, distinguished and decorative career at Saracens, two premiership titles uh, and, and numerous semi-finals and, and finals on top of that. Um, but what is your most cherished memory? Um, probably winning the Premiership for the first time in 2011. Um, we just started out, we weren't really regarded as being a big team back then. And we got the final the year before and lost. And then we did it all the way that year and it was a massive achievement for the whole squad and the memories of that will live forever. And then obviously we've had some amazing trips going away, we've been to Verbe, had an amazing time there with all the friends together. Um, Miami was an amazing trip. There's had so many good friends off the pitch as well on the pitch. And the best thing is that you've made so many friends, we'll be friends for life. And like you say, you've made a lot of friends. It's a club that prides itself on making memories here, uh, first and foremost. Um, how difficult is it going to be saying goodbye to um, to your teammates here at Saracens? Yeah, it'd be pretty tough. It's, it's not goodbye, is it? It's just the next chapter of life. And i say these guys will always be in the memories and they'll always be friends and they'll always call up with them whenever they travel to any part of the world, which is a great thing. We've got boys who live in Fiji, boys in New Zealand, South Africa, all over the world now. You can go and visit people. I can call and see him have a pint with the guys.